I don't know what that was. Holy <laughs> fuck. Welcome to Stupid Movies. And this week we watched 1030. Wow, that's bad, Rob. <sighs> Up. Uh, there. 1030. They can't see. You're too close. <laughs> Whoop. And this week. <laughs> this week we watched 1031. An Indian horror. <laughs> 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 133, where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we're watching 1031, an in the anthology. Wawa! Wawa! <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the third week of Stupid Movies at Halloween Extravaganza. Oh, are we not going with Horror Fest anymore? Now we're in Extravaganza. We're in the Extravaganza. Oh! Third week. Third week. Third week. Thank you for joining us once well, again. Yeah. And this week we watched 1031. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this one was all full of semen. You don't need any more coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. This is an anthology, so it had... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Numerous directors, mm -hmm. as an anthology normally does. Right. Uh, one of them... Was Justin Seaman who directed The Barn. Yep. I would like to see more. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to see more Seaman. Uh, Let's tell them a little bit about this movie just so, so they have an idea. This is an anthology. It's an anthology. It's got five stories in it plus a wraparound. Kind of a wraparound. Yeah, very yeah. small. Like my wiener. Yeah. You yeah, like my wiener too. Okay, yeah. good. Like you got the front, I got the back. Devil's threesome? Yeah, so five, like, e e e e e e e The word of the day is E. So what did we like about this movie? Oh, man. Besides um, everything. Let's get specific, because this was a great movie. Yeah. Um, the the movie as a whole, every story took place on Halloween. Yep. And they nailed the Halloween vibe. Every one of them had a reason to be on Halloween, too. Thank the you. stories. Every yeah. single one of the stories was good. Which, with an... Uh, <laughs> anthology, that's right. not always, most of the time, that's not the yeah, case. Usually there's at least one or two that are weak, but mm -hmm. these were all really good stories. Very good, yeah. overall. Yeah. Um, but, so, yeah. Yeah. The, um, uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah, that, no, one. that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the makeup and the gore effects were actually very good. Yeah, really, it, very. it looked good. And it looked like it was pretty much all practical. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I mean, it for for an it, this is an indie movie. Oh yeah. So the budget is I don't know what it is because I be mobile sucks, but it you know I mean they obviously had a decent budget, but it's not high budget. Yeah. So the it looked good. And yeah, it they, looked really good. The music was great. The music and the score. I know you really uh, dug it. I really did too. The score can make all the difference in a movie. It really can. You know if it's dry like an old woman snooch. It's probably not going to be good. What is wrong with you? <laughs> to support horror and indie. Yeah. Support it! No more coffee for you, Rob. The pacing. The pacing was, was very consistent. Uh, uh, every one of them was really consistent in the pacing. It was good. It was good. Can I have my coffee back? <laughs> Thank <coffee>. you. <laughs> yeah, um, the pacing was awesome. Uh, real quick, back to the gore. I got sidetracked. Yeah, you did. Somehow. Because you started screaming. But we get all <laughs> we get all sorts of uh, different kind of stuff. You know, a lot of it's standard stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's impalements. There's stuff like that. And machete action and stuff. Yeah. Consistent pace was awesome. You know, one the one piece of the gore that I really liked the most was when he ripped that chick's poop shoot out of her stomach. <laughs> and that hung was, her with it? Yeah, and then hung her with it. Poop-filled long john. Right. From, oh. from Dunkin' Donuts. Blah. Um, Surprisingly, one of the less uh, less popular of their flavors. <laughs> yeah, mm. the pacing. The pacing <laughs> was um, more consistent than the show. The stories, I thought, they were really widely varied. Yeah. what they were about. I mean, there was right. a, without giving too much away, there was a slasher, there was a, a ghost, there was a vampire, scarecrow, yeah, supernatural. It was yeah, it was really across the board. But I liked that. It, it was great. The acting was pretty good in yeah. this overall. I mean, I, I, some of it was kind of cheesy, but overall it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the mm. cinematography was one of my favorite things, too, across the board. I thought they all... Yeah, they all looked good. A lot of good shots, a lot of good scenery, you know, a lot of... Uh, 
<laughs> Stuff. Uh, no, it was it was it was good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about cinematography. I don't really know what the hell it even means. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who wrote it down. You were like, I want to point out that the cinematography was good. Uh, execution, along with cinematography, yeah. <laughs> pacing and score, can make all the difference. Yeah. It's almost like if you take all of the things that make a good movie and put them together, you get a good movie. <laughs> so dislikes. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot. While we love the pacing, overall, the third one, I like the story, but there's about a five minute span in there. Where it kind of, it went off far too long. Where she's and, looking for her brother. Right. And and they faded the music up and faded the, <clears throat> the words. I don't know. Yeah. Dialogue. Say that. The dialogue, yeah. They faded the dialogue down. So, so it's like you just see them... Let's re reenact that real quick. You do the, you be the music. Be like, <laughs> yeah. Mikey! It was really obnoxious. It went on way too long. Yeah. That needed to be cut down to about 15 seconds. The fifth one. Yeah, the last story. Was super confusing yeah. to me. It was cool. I liked what they were doing. Me too. Yeah. So and I was it, confused as hell. Me too. And it kind of, it mixed up like a kind of a slasher and a supernatural thing. And I have no clue. But not in a good way. Not the the fourth one needed better editing. Yeah. The, uh, I'm sorry. I hate to pick on the editor for that one, but it was not well put together. No. And it bummed me out uh, because I love the story for it. The wraparound, it was it was pretty short overall, but it was, yeah. it was weak. Uh, it could have been better. It didn't need to be there. So, you know, one thing we did not like about this movie, there was no boobs! Oh shit, I didn't even realize that. Me either. We Which, didn't write it down. We didn't even write it down. There were no boobs in this movie at all. The fact that we are <clears throat> talking about this movie in the same sentence as Trick or Treat and in the same sentence as Creep Show should really, really clue you into the quality of this. Because this is an indie movie and those right. weren't. Yeah, no. But we, this movie stands with them. Exactly. So let's talk about what were our favorites, what were our least favorites of the stories. My favorite, I, my two favorites, the first two. The first one is my favorite because of semen. You want to explain a little bit about what it was or just say it's <laughs> the, because of semen? <laughs> Justin Seaman <laughs> directed it. Yes, he did. And obviously he directed The Barn. Yeah. Also had Mitchell Mus M Mussolini. Mussol <laughs> Mussolino. Mitchell Mussolino for The Barn. No, but it's called The Old Hag. And I don't know. It's just, uh, I liked it. I liked the, the acting was spot on. It's a little bit of a haunted house. A little bit, which is weird because I'm typically You're not You're usually bad. not into that. But it kind of has that sleep paralysis a little bit. Right. Which, that's creepy, even to me. You Because you get it. Because I get it. It's because I come over and I put that chloroform <laughs> on your he, mouth. He's and sitting I... on top of me and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's this dong touching my dong. <laughs> Torrifying! Did you say my dong's touching your dong? <laughs> yes. Our dongs don't touch. No. Thank gosh. Just the balls. No offense. First one. My favorite was the second one. Oh! Um, I really, really, the That's first good. one was great. Uh, I don't want to make it sound like I didn't like it, but boy, that second one was so good to me. Yeah. Uh, it was a mix of, uh, you know, I thought it was, they changed it like three different times. I thought it was going to go this way, and then all of a sudden, no, it's going this way, and then all of a sudden, no, it's going a different route again. And each time got me, Yeah. and each one was good. So Rob, what did you rate this movie? I'm going to give this an 8 out of 8, eight because out of eight. I enjoyed it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 8, too. Oh! This is great. Go watch it. Go I mean, watch straight it. Straight up, out. go get it right now. Yeah. As soon as the credits roll, go watch this movie. Adam will tell you where you can go to find us. You can go to Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. You can check us out on YouTube, which is where you are right fucking now. Also check us out over on Instagram at Stupid Movies. You can see me at The Horror Punk. You can maybe see him if he ever gets on there at Dr. Sketch Turner. Still haven't logged in. I've had it for two months now. <laughs> uh, go check out our friend at The Horror Ghoul. Just a plug. Yeah, sure. She's cool. She likes horror movies. Yeah. So We're just going to start randomly plugging people. Just start plugging it. people. Plug people with the semen. No. Cut. Cut. <laughs> End of show. End of show. See you next week for our final installment of the Halloween extravaganza for stupid movies. I wonder what movie we're going to watch for the final for Halloween. Mm. I wonder what Halloween type movie we're going to watch next I week. I wonder what Halloween kind of movie. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be a new movie. Not an Indian horror anthology. <laughs> this week we watched a movie. You're bouncing the camera. Chloe's gonna get mad. What's